Great. Hey, Molly. Hi, how are you? Good. Excellent knitwear. What's that? Excellent knitwear. Excellent sweater. Thank you. Thank you yeah. so much. Keeps me cozy in chilly Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm going to jump right in if that's okay. Let's do it. Great. Um, so Poker Face is the return of the case of the week format for a crime show. What does that bring for audience members who love watching crime? Well, I think it's a, it's a few things. It's a format that I really found myself missing. I mean, I think there's so much good TV right now that's serialized, where if it's a mystery show, the mystery stretches over the entire season. Um, having it be case of the week gives you a couple of things. First of all, you can just sit down and get a full meal and a full mystery in, in one hour of TV at the end of the night, which, which is kind of nice. Um, also, because it's truly episodic, it's not, it's the middle episodes of the season are not even really in order. Like if you hear, oh my God, you have to see the one with Nick Nolte, you can skip ahead and watch it. You don't have to like watch all the way up to it. Um, but the other big thing to me is, is guest stars. Um, that's another thing that those old shows had that we're really trying to follow in the tradition of is every episode having a true guest star who really owns the episode. And so like when you watch a trailer and you see like 30 names in a row, it's not like those are all cameos in one episode. Every one of those people has an episode that's their episode and they're going up against Charlie, you know, against Natasha's character in it. Um, I think that's really, really fun to see. It's like 10 little movies, basically. It is. And I want to talk more about the episodes, but first I want to talk about Natasha. Mm -hmm. Since every great crime series, you could say, has detectives or people who are doing the detecting and they're often big personalities so mm -hmm. what is it about Natasha as an actress that makes her a good center for poker face yeah it's it's kind of undefinable it's kind of like like movie star quality there is just something that she's got and it's ve also very very rare which is the reason why when I became friends with her and saw her work in Russian Doll a light went off in my head and I thought this is, this is somebody who could be like this, uh, uh, the Peter Falk for a series like this. Um, there's not a lot of those people out there. And so, uh, yeah, I don't know that I can put my finger on what it is, but I know that it's there. And then when we went about, and then my job really was to work with her and kind of construct the show to be like a bespoke suit for her. So it really took advantage of everything that I love watching, uh, in her performances. And she's really been a collaborator from the start. We, we really built this thing together. Yeah, I enjoy that because I'm such a Murder, She Wrote fan. Yeah. You know, so it's Love great it. to see, especially like a woman too, doing yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, awesome. man, she's got it. Yeah, and for the episodes uh, themselves, I believe you just called them mini movies. And, yeah. you know, for me getting to watch the ones that I did, they all felt different as well. Yeah. So what do you do to visually represent the difference between the cases, the episodes? Mm -hmm. Well, that was something I was excited about. It was a notion of it being a road movie, but really what that allows us to do is to delve into a different world with every episode. And that way, it was kind of inspired by Quantum Leap, um, where every episode is plunking you into a whole other little ecosystem of people, a little micro society, and kind of examining that. Um, it, when you have 10 episodes and you're creating a new world with every one, it's, it's a lot of work. And our production designer, Judy Ree, did the Lord's work. I still can't believe what she did in terms of creating all these different, vastly different worlds. Um, uh, and also uh, uh, Tracy Field, our, our costume designer. Um, but then the casting also, just like, um, you know, it, so everything goes into trying to like create a whole different world each week. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I know with, speaking of kind of behind the scenes, I know with casting, you work with people you've worked with in the past. For this show yeah. specifically, it seems like that. But what about behind the scenes? Since they had such tall orders, the departments, are they people you've worked with before? Some of them are. In two of the episodes I directed, um, my cinematographer, Steve Yedlin, who I've worked with in all my movies, shot them. But then, and then Jaron Prasant, who 
I've worked with, he's been our second unit DP and has shot lots of movies on his own, directed or uh, shot some of them. But then also we had new people also. Christina Ng was our other uh, DP and she shot one of the other episodes I directed. I had great experience with her. Um, Judy, who I mentioned I hadn't worked with before, Tracy. So it was a mixture of old and old and new friends basically. But, um, uh, but yeah, and a lot of the new friends are now going to become old friends. I hope to keep working with them. Yeah. And uh, back to Natasha's character, Charlie, since she has that knack of detecting when people are lying, hmm. was that something that was inspired by Natasha or something that you just thought would be good for the character? Well, Natasha does have a really good bullshit detector. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of infuriatingly so. <laughs> uh, but no, this that was kind of constructed for the character. I mean, part of it was part of it was knowing that she's not a cop and she's not a detective. This is not her job. So wanting to give her something that's just a little bit extra that um, made her particularly good at this, I think, beyond just her being smart or her being good at mysteries. Um, just a little something that, that where it made sense that only she could step in and solve these crimes. Um, and the other aspect of it was because there is a little bit of the murder she wrote thing of everywhere she goes, a murder happens, which <laughs> is just a buy-in that we asked for from the audience. Like, I'm not going to say yeah. we made that make sense. It is just kind of, yep, this is the show and it's fun and we're going with it. But a little bit of, uh, there was a little bit in my head of, okay, if she has this power, the notion is if any of us could detect lies around us, we'd probably be privy to a lot more terrible stuff happening in the world around us yeah. every day. Uh, so there's a little bit of that too, but. Oh, well, that's all the time I have for you. This one by so Oh, all right. <laughs> well, Molly, it was great talking to you. It was so great talking to you. I'm such a yeah. fan. Of you. Uh, thanks, Molly. I appreciate it.